Hello. My name is Simone Braga, for those listening to me for the first time. God bless you, mightily. Here you discover the mystery of the mighty verses from the book of Psalms, the Psalm 8. Psalm 8, a hymn of praise composed by King David, presents an essential contrast between God, the Creator, and man, a prominent creature. As we will see, this psalm is quoted in the New Testament to teach about the salvation offered through Jesus Christ. David opens this song with praise to God because of his greatness and power, O Lord, our Lord, how magnificent is thy name in all the earth. For you have exposed your majesty in heaven. From the mouths of babes and sucklings, you aroused strength, because of your adversaries, to silence the enemy and the avenger, verses 1 and 2. This first verse helps to understand an essential fact in the scriptures. Although the Bible uses several names to identify God, the importance is not in the spelling or pronunciation of the word, the incorrect focus of some religious sects today, but the character of the Lord himself. The magnificent name is demonstrated in the majesty exposed in the heavens. It is what God does, what he is, that is good, magnificent, holy, and praiseworthy, not the spelling of a word. God is so great and powerful that he can use the spoken word of a child to bring down his opponents. Although men trust in his strength and the effectiveness of his weapons, the power of God is manifested in the word he speaks even when it is said by a child. Jesus quoted this verse when the powerful rejected him, but the children praised him, Matthew 21 15 to 16. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel, All Faith Theory. I kindly ask you to do it because it will help our channel and the YouTube algorithm will understand our content is reasonably suitable for hearing. Please click on the bell, and leave your comments. I would also like you to pass this audio on to your friends, as everyone will have the opportunity to listen to our new content. First and foremost, our mission is to pass the predominant thing, the Lord's words. Now I would like you to pay attention to the Lord's words, open your heart, and listening with great faith. Psalm 8 O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth! You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies, to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place. What is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet. All flocks and herds, and the beasts of the field. The birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Pray with me, our Father, with great faith. Lord's Prayer our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom comes, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God will bless your victory mightily. Now repeat after me, Glory to Lords and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I love you all. Thank you all for listening. In the name of God, please subscribe to the channel. God bless you forever. Goodbye.